Okay, hello you guys, it's me again. Um, before we will proceed to our topic for today, I would like to formally introduce myself because I know a lot of you. Um, hindi nyo alam kung sino ako at ano ang profession ko at bakit, why am I doing all of these video clips? Okay, so, um, okay. My name is Friendly Ansasil. I came from Boko, Philippines. I am Bisaya. Um, I am a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. So, listen, shadow ho akong um, immigration consultant dito sa Canada. Ito ho yung line of profession ko. Okay? Um, I have my full time job um, as an immigration case specialist sa isang company dyan sa my Finch Avenue West. You can visit me there. You guys are free to do. Uh, to visit or to do such but then again um okay so obviously pa na yung professional fees ko kung doon nyo ako imit uh base na ho yan sa com company's rate ho okay so um other than that my um minamage ko ho yung sarili kong company obviously prime immigration this is my business this is my company um, um, yeah, so you can, you are free to visit me here in Scarborough or you're free to visit me there South Finch Avenue West. I don't have any problem with that. Um, again, so I am an immigration um, consultant, so I am not only dealing with um, concerns or cases regarding uh, caregivers, so I deal with all sorts of immigration cases. And applications okay so to name a few um, temporary residence applications such as study permits visitor visa work permits okay so ginagawa ko yan yan ho yung araw-araw na kaso na hinahandle ko okay so um, what a sponsorship so I deal all sorts of sponsorship applications spousal common law conjugal Dependent child, um, parents and grandparents. Okay, so spousal, I have very good news which I will be sharing with you next week probably. Um, my isang spousal application ho ako na na-approve lang within two months sa pag-submit namin. Okay, so that's a very good news and it seems um, special ho yan na kaso kasi yung standard processing time mo ng spousal application outside Canada is at least one year. And then nakuha ko siya ng two months lang. So I will be posting that. Um, hopefully, kung yung client ko ay um, mag agree Okay, and then spousal, common law. Common law partner application guys is nandito kayo um nagkukohibit kayo dito within Canada in one year for one year okay hindi ho outside Canada dito ho kayo naglilive in nagkukohibit ng at least one year yun ho yung conjugal partner um what is conjugal I mean yun ho yung common law okay yung nagkukohibit kayo dito sa Canada ng isang taon Conjugal partner naman ho, yun ho yung um, programa or category under sponsorship na in yan namin ng partner ko. I have I have uh, my same, uh, same sex uh, partner with me. Um, yun ho yung in yan ko and within 6 months lang ho, na-approve ho yung application namin. Okay? So, conjugal partner, ito yung special na sponsorship na hindi pwedeng um, hindi siya I pwede i-categorize mo sa spousal kasi wala siyang marriage contract, marriage certificate. Hindi ko kami pwede ikasal ng partner ko kasi hindi ko legal sa Pinas. Ang same-sex marriage, obviously guys, okay? So, yun ho yung conjugal partner na may genuine or genuine kayo na um, relasyon sa partner niyo. It's, but, um, hindi kayo pwede ikasal. Kasi under um, valid circumstances such as like same-sex orientation, di ho yan pwede sa Pinas, di ho ba? Um, ano, uh, immigration barriers or 
uh, may ma, may mga rason po diyan. And um komplikadong conjugal partner but for as long as alam mo ang ginagawa mo at um kompleto detalye ka mag-apply so positive ho yung approach natin positive positive ho yung application natin um so sponsorship i would say that's my line of expertise right there okay um um provincial nominees express entry federal um Canadian experience, trade, what is humanitarian, compassionate, business entrepreneurs, and all sorts of Canadian application. I am myself is dealing with that for almost a year now. Um, the only program that I, I cannot handle with um, is refugee application. Um, uh, pwede ko kung maghandle niyan. I mean, um, it's just that I am not capable of that kind of application. Uh, mabusisi, komplikado, and wala ho akong experience yan. That is why um, hindi ako tumatanggap ng refugee application. But aside from that, um, yeah, yan ho yung pang-araw-araw na ginagawa ko. Okay, so caregiver. Bakit caregiver? Mostly sa mga videos ko is about caregivers, assisting them, guiding them. Um, to those of you who might not know, I came here originally as caregiver, caregiver, okay? So, that is why alam ko ho, um, ang pasikot-sikot ng programang, programang ito, okay? Um, as much as possible, uh, from the bottom of my heart, I really want to help caregivers, I... I want to push them, I want to guide them, I want to assist them. Um, yeah, dahil ho, nanggaling ako sa caregiver program. At then, galing ho ako sa trabaho na yan at hindi ho madali. Okay, so today, our uh, discussion, I mean, not discussion, our topic is about, again, caregivers. So I will address, I will answer all general queries. Um, about uh, new pilots of caregiver program. Okay, so unang-una, um, yung mga caregiver na nandito na sa Canada. So, ano yung mga concerns nila? Ano yung mga sitwasyon nila? At ano yung gagawin nila? Okay, so sa mga caregivers so, na nandito na, pwede hong stay foot na lang kayo. Okay, wala ko kayong gagawin, mag-gain lang ko kayo ng 2 years, and then mag-apply po tayo ng permanent residency under sa new pilot. Okay, yun ho namang gusto mag-apply um, in line sa bagong pilot, wala kong problema, that's possible. Um, yung edge nito, yung um, advantage nito is um, mas-change yung work permit nyo from employer-specific work permit to occupation-specific um, um, open work permit. Ito ho yung... Um, open work permit na three years na occupation specific siya. So, you can like jump um, as many as you can to um, sa iba't ibang employers dyan. Yun ho, yung edge nito. And then, pwede nyo hong isama na or uh, makapunta na dito si uh, asawa nyo at mga anak nyo kung kayo ay pamilyado. Okay? So, Again, pwede hong stay foot na lang kayo at wala kayong gagawin. Um, pwede ho rin na mag-apply kayo sa new pilot na ito. Okay? Um, what else? Ren uh, renewal ng work permit nyo. Okay, so kung magre-renew kayo, magre-renew uh, magre kayo ng um, work permit nyo. Um, same lang ho yung um, procedure um, under ho tayo sa tinatawag na temporary um, uh, temporary foreign worker program. So, same application, on, online application ho. Renewal ho itong pinag-uusapan uh, pinag natin. So, same procedure ho. Sa online ho kayo mag-apply. And then, anong kailangan nyo? Job offer, uh, contract, um, yung LMI nyo. 
Tapos, um, ano pa ba? Yung current yun na work permit and forms and photos and all. Yun ho yung renewal, okay? So, dito naman sa mag-change ng employer na meron na silang LMIA, same procedure pa rin ho sa dati, online application, um, ilakip nyo, ilagay nyo yung LMIA, ilagay nyo yung job offer, um, contract, employment contract nyo, um, forms, um, ang current nyo na work permit, online application. Ganun pa rin ho yung um, um, procedure nyo. Okay, so ang renewal at ang change um, ng employer na meron na kayong LMIA, same procedure ho. Okay, and then dito naman sa change employer na wala pang LMIA, like for instance, bukas makalawa or next month kayo mag-change ng employer, ang gagawin niyo ho ay dito na kayo sa panibagong um, pilot. Okay? Dito na ho kayo sa panibagong pilot. Again, sarado na ho ang LMIA, wala na. Hindi na kayo pwedeng mag-apply ng LMIA kasi wala na ho. Okay? Sarado na ho yung dati. Dito na kayo sa panibago. Dito na kayo sa new pilot. Okay, so yung question ko ho ma'am, paano ho kung um, I only have few months left and then binitawan ako ni Amo, anong gagawin ko? E one, year na, one year pa naman yung processing ng bagong pilot nito, processing ng work permit. Um, ma'am, okay, so in that sense, ini-encourage ko ho kayo na mag-apply na ho ng credential assessment no ngayon pa lang, Okay? Wala akong masama dyan, wala kayo masasagasaan kasi yung credential assessment nyo, 5 years ho yung expiration yan. So kahit ngayon-ngayon ho kayo mag-apply nyan, wala ko kayo problema. Wala kayo masasagasaan. So get that ECA, credential assessment, and then get that language ability test. Okay? Kahit um, kampanti lang kayo sa amo nyo ngayon, wala kayo problema, it doesn't matter ho, wala ko kayo masasagasaan get that okay para kung may um sitwasyon kayo na bigla bigla kayo magkaka problema like bibitawan kayo ni amo okay so ang mayayari ho niyan as i've said mag-aapply ho kayo ng work permit dito na ho sa procedure ng bagong pilot which is one year ang applic uh, one year ang processing niyan. Now, however, kung ang tanong niyo ay ilang buwan na lang kayo, paano ho ako, ma'am? Anong gagawin ko ho? For as long as nandito na yung matagal na ipaprocess, nakahanda na dyan yung ECA nyo na matagal mag-process, yung language ability test nyo na matagal i-process, kung, ang, kung nandyan na kayo, handa na yung dalawa na yan, wala na ho kayo magiging problema. Okay? Kasi ho, kung makahanap na kayo ng bagong amo, job offer na lang mo ang kailangan nyo sa kanya at ang kontrata ninyo na magpirmahan kayo. And then, by that, police clearances nyo, okay, madali lang ho, police clearances ho sa hindi ho nakakaalam, pwede ho nating ipasa lamang ang mga resibo niyan. Okay? Kahit ho yung resulta na niyan, yung final result ho niyan, ay susunod na magre-request ho yung officer niyan kung kinakailangan. Okay? So, for as long as ready na ho lahat ng mga documents nyo, pwede na ho kayong mag-apply ng work permit. Now, kung 4 months na lang remaining sa legal status nyo, okay, so it, ito pa. Ang legality ho ng pagstay nyo dito sa Canada, hindi ho yan magmamatter kung may amo kayo o wala. Dito ho natin titignan yan sa validity ng work permit nyo. Okay? For as long as valid pa ho yung work permit nyo, pwede ho kayong manirahan dito. May employer at wala. Okay? So, um, okay, so moving on. Um, once ipapasa nyo na yung application nyo ng work permit nyo, kasi ho ready na ho lahat, as, as I've said, kung um, nakuha nyo na ho yung ECA nyo at nakuha nyo na yung language nyo or ready na ho kayo, police clearances na lang na as I've said, ang resibo pwede na ho yan, na i-apply nyo 
So, i-apply nyo na ho yan agad-agad ang magiging pasok niyan kahit one year ang processing niyan. For as long as may hinihintay ka ho na application um, sa immigration, kahit ho ma-out of status na kayo, yun ho yung tinatawag na implied status. Okay? So, kahit ho expire na ho yung validity ng work permit nyo, for as long as may hinihintay ho kayo na desisyon sa ipinasa niyong application, legal ho kayong magtatrabaho dito, legal, legal ho kayong maninirahan dito. Okay? So, na, na sana nasagot ko yung katanungan na yan at sana ay hindi kayo matatakot. Okay? Kung hindi, alinlangan kayo, okay, so, um, PM me. Um, private message. Okay, so, um, yeah, okay. So, nasagot ko na ba lahat. Uh, within Canada, ng mga caregivers, either mag-apply kayo. Um, ang edge niyan, ang advantage niyan is um, mapupunta si family niyo, anak niyo at asawa niyo at magkakaroon kayo ng occupation-specific open work permit. Yun ho yung edge niyan. Or else, stay food, mag hintayin nyo na maka-gain kayo ng 2 years and then apply ko kayo ng permanent residence uh, in line or um, um, sa route ho ng bagong uh, PR application ng caregiving program. Okay ho. So, sa renewal at saka change employer na meron ng LMIA, same procedure, continuous niyan, online application, work permit under under temporary foreign worker program. What else? Kung wala ko kayo, mag-change employer kayo na wala ko kayo may alam ay pa, yung back to zero kayo, dito kayo sa bagong um, work permit application. Okay? Okay, so next is um, um, ang requirements ng caregiver program, again, language ability is CA, um, which is credential assessment. Um, admissibility, which is yung police or criminal check, police clearances, um, medical, tapos yung financially admissible. I-discuss ko ho yan mamaya. At sya ka itong tinatawag na ability to perform your job or work experience. Okay, so dalawa ko ang pwede nito. One year work of experience, work, one year work experience, either paid or unpaid, um, taking care of child or taking care of elderly. Yun ho yun. One year work experience niyan. Paid or unpaid for as long as may ipapakita kang kontrata or supporting do documents na nagtrabaho ka nga sa trabaho na iyan. And then, pangalawa is in-class training ng caregiving, caregiving course. So, sa pinaso, ito, yung, ito ho yung six months na caregiving course sa Pinas na um, bibigyan ka nila ng caregiving certificate yun ho, pwede ho yun not, not siya sa Pinas but in, sa ibang bansa kung meron kayong ganyan na tra uh, caregiving course pwede ho yan kung wala ho kayong work experience dito ho kayo sa training posible ho yan na meron ho nagtatanong ma'am, ipapa-assess ipapa ko ko ba itong caregive, uh, caregiving program ko sa they're talking about credential assessment hindi ho ma'am okay so yung credential assessment ho ang ipapa-assess nyo dyan is yung highest attainment nyo na education kung college man kayo PH uh, doctor, uh, doctorate degree or uh, uh, what else? Master's degree. Okay? Highest attainment to. Wala nang kinalaman yung high school diploma nyo or high school TOR. Highest attainment nyo ho sa education nyo. Okay? Yung caregiving course nyo or certificate, again, hindi mo ko kailangang ipasis yan ng credential nyo. That is in line sa um, eligibility requirements na ng um, ability to perform work. So, either work experience or ito kong caregiving certificate. Okay? Now, ang next na katanungan, ma'am, transferi ho kasi ako. 
um, dalawa, bali na nakadalawang university ho ako, or nakadalawang institution ho ako. So, may TOR ho ako ng isang, let's say, isang taon sa school na ito. Tapos, may TOR din ho ako sa talagang doon sa school na doon ako graduate. Okay, ma'am, um, uh, um, to those of you who might not know, yung TOR nyo sa una yung um, school, pagka-transfer nyo sa pangalawa nyong school, yung TOR ho na ito sa unang school, ay i-merge ho nila dito sa last na school kung saan kayo mag-graduate. Ito na ho yung TOR na kailangan nyo. Dito sa last na school kung saan kayo graduate. Okay? So, dito ho kayo mag-apply ng credential assessment sa school na ito. Na gets nyo ba ho? Okay, sana na gets nyo. PM kung hindi nyo na intindihan. As I, as I said, wala nang kinalaman doon sa previous na school. Kasi ho, i-merge ho yung TOR nyo sa luma at sa dito talaga sa school na doon kayo nag-graduate. Doon ho kayo mag-apply. Kung saan kayo nag-graduate. Um, next, okay, so financial uh, proof of funds. Okay, so ito yung pinagkakaguluhan ng lahat-lahat. Um, napakalaki, okay. Napakalaki ng funds na kinakailangan. Okay. So, admissibility. Um, again, police clearances or criminal check. Medical. Not just to you, but also to your um, families. Member of families. Uh, family member nyo. So, si asawa at mga anak nyo. Okay? So, kailangan nila din i-meet ito. Admissibility. Okay. Why? Because again, Guys, ang bago nating pilot sa caregiver, we are the officer or the government is not just um, evaluating you as a worker, as a work permit. But as well, they are evaluating you and also your family member if you are capable, if you are eligible to be a permanent resident. Okay, so again, ito ho yung nangyayari nang dahil dyan. Okay, so financially admissible, yun ho yung dinagdag nila. Um, I was disappointed um, na nung nalaman ko ito kasi marami hong um, caregivers dyan na mahihirapan. Okay, so I would like to discuss this thoroughly um, to those of you na ito yung concern nyo. I know and I understand that. Um, Okay, so, kung ikaw lang ang aplikante, single ka, wala kang anak, wala kang um, asawa, hindi nyo na ko kakailanganin ito. You don't have to think about this. Financial funds. Bakit ho? Ang pinunta nyo dito, ang pupuntahan nyo, nyo ho dito ay trabaho. Okay? Work permit ho yung, pupurt, uh, yung, yung ibibigay sa inyo ng Canada kung mag apply kayo ng new pilot na ito. Okay, so again, work permit. So, trabaho ho yung pupuntahan nyo dito. That means, ma-wave ho yung financial um, um, admissibility sa side nyo. Kung ikaw ay single lang. Kasi ho, again, magtatrabaho ka ho dito. So, hindi ka na ho kailangan hanapan pa ng food of funds. Okay. However, kung ikaw aplikante at may asawa ka at mga anak, kailangan nyo mong imit ang financially, ang financial admissibility. Okay? That means, may tinatawag ko tayong LICO o yung tinatawag na low income cut-offs. Um, ipopose ko ho yan sa prime immigration group. Um, yun ho yung dapat nyo imit. Kasi ho again, as I've discussed this, um, briefly sa uh, previous na video ko um, granted ho na papasok kayo dito as caregiver and then minimum lang ho yung um, sahod natin dito and then isasama nyo ho yung tatlong anak nyo at si asawa so paano nyo ho bubuhayin yan so it's a huge um, question sa gobyerno ng Canada kasi hin di ho kayo pupunta dito at mag-acquire ng um, social assistance dito ng, sa Canada. 
pagka layman's term ay eh, maghihingi ho kayo ng ayuda, di ho yan pwede dito, okay? So, da, uh, dahil dyan, um, inad itong financial admissible, okay? Admissibility. So, may mga funds na ho kayong kailangang imit. Um, mas, medyo may kamahalan, hindi mo mga baba ng 500,000. Depende ho ito sa ilang pamilya meron na ikaw, ilang anak ikaw. So, kung tatlong asawa, I mean, tatlong asawa, tatlo ang anak nyo, tapos uh, isa, isang husband, so apat kayo lahat pupunta dito. So, um, I think na sa 700 to 800,000 po yung ipoprovide nyo. Okay? So, isasama nyo po yan, ipopost ko yan sa prime uh, immigration, yung uh, income na dapat nyo imit or itong tinatawag na low income cutoffs. Okay? Um, okay. So, isasama nyo po yung proof of funds nyo sa application nyo para po wala na hong question yung officer paano kaya ito bubuhayin niya yung tatlong anak niya, dalawang anak niya, tapos asawa niya pa, ang liit lang, ang liit lang ng um, sahod niya as caregiver. So, to answer that question, um, or to um, put a period on that um, uncertainties, sa um, officer, magpo-provide ko kayo ng proof of funds. Okay? Um, again, sa single, wala na ako kayong problemahin pa. Okay, wala na. Um, ikaw, ikaw lang mismo pupunta dito as worker, hindi nyo na ako kailang imit yan. Ang um, proof of funds. Ito lang ho yung um, issue nila dito is yung pamilya. Na, na isasama nila, yung pamilya nila. Okay. Um, next is itong um, interim pathway. Okay, so ano ito? Um, ito ho yung nandito na sa Canada, nagtatrabaho na as caregiver and they already acquired at least one year of um, experience either taking care of child or, or elderly. So, yung dito ko sa Canada na, na one year na ko silang nagtatrabaho dito, either nag-aalaga ng bata o nag-aalaga ng matanda, pwede ko silang mag-apply ng permanent residency. Um, mag re, -re open ho itong interim pathway kasi it closed at it. It closes and it opens, guys. So, this is just a pilot. So, this is a temporary um, program na inistudyohan ng Canada. So, mag-open ito July 8 to October 8. So, to those of you na gusto mag-apply nito, kasi sa dami ng issue at sa daming concern ng new pilot, um, kung may isang year na ko kayo, na work experience, grab this opportunity guys. Mag-open ito three in th uh, for 3 months, July 8 to October 8. Okay? So, again, um, same, languageability, CLP5, um, uh, ECA, which is credential um, assessment nyo, but then, ito, ang imimit nyo na lang is um, Canadian, at least Canadian secondary. So, yung new pilot at least one post, uh, one year post um, Canadian um, secondary education, yun ho yung um, imimit nyo doon. Ito naman yung interim, medyo mababa siya. At least Canadian secondary uh, graduate ikaw. Okay? So, yung mga undergraduate niyan, dito ho. Kung may one year na kayong experience, dito ho. Ito ho sa um, pathway na ito, ikaw um, safe. Okay? So, get your um, eligibility done and then your uh, credential assessment. And then, ang edge nito, ang um, uh, diferensya nito sa interim at saka dito sa um, caregiving, caregiver pilot um, is that one year ho yung estimated na standard processing nito. Okay? But most, uh, hindi ho... Yung iba ko, 3 months lang, 5 months lang, 2 months lang, may uh, eligibility na ho sila. May uh, approval na ho sila ng permanent residency nila. Depende ho kung gano'ng kompleto yung application nyo, kung gano'ng kapulido. 
Okay, kung walang complication and all sorts of that. Okay, so one year ang standard processing nito, itong interim. Yung normal naman or ang regular naman na application ng permanent residency sa caregiving program is six months lang yun. But ito, um, kung nakaredy naman na lahat ng um, requirements niyo guys or documents niyo, why not grab this? Okay, Malam, maraming komplikasyon, concerns, issues ang bagong pilots ngayon. Um, kung gusto niyo, grab this chance. Okay, in three months mag-open ito. Um, what else? Um, I think that would be it guys. Um, I hope na sagot ko po lahat ng mga issues nyo. And um, my next video, hopefully kung may, hopefully kung pag-aaralan ko, is um, to guide you sa IELTS or language uh, exam nyo. Okay, so yun yung gusto kong i, i, um, i, i assist sa inyo. I, gusto kong i-guide kayo kahit pa paano kung paano um, mag-exam ng IELTS. Um, okay, so that would be it. Thank you very much. And yeah, PM me again. May uh, group po tayo, Prime Immigration. You are free to join that group. Maraming um, IELTS na reviewers tayo doon and marami tayong videos. Informative videos para sa inyong lahat. Um, yeah, that would be it. Thank you. Bye-bye.